Inside Out 2 captured our hearts with its realistic portrayal of Riley's emotions as she goes through puberty. With the sequel came the news that a series is on the way along with a potential Inside Out 3. But did you know that there are also books? Sorry, we wanted to make such a good first impression. Uh, what do you mean we? After nine years of waiting, Inside Out finally has a sequel. Inside Out, one of Pixar's best films, raised the bar high for its follow-up. The 2015 animated film adopted a novel approach to illustrating how the mind functions, presenting difficult psychological ideas in a lighthearted and enjoyable manner that appeal to both kids and adults. That being said, Inside Out 2 had its work cut out for it with its stunning animation, an excellent cast and story, and a heartfelt conclusion. Inside Out 2 takes place a few years after the events of the first film. Riley, who is currently 13 years old, and her five inner emotions, joy, sadness, anger, disgust, and fear, start the terrifying journey of puberty, which involves the introduction of some new emotions emotions at the headquarters. As Riley and her friends prepare to go to hockey camp, more complex emotions like ennui, envy, anxiety, and embarrassment start to surface. This means Inside Out 2 has a lot of problems and an adventure that rivals Inside Out. The sequel to Inside Out had a fantastic story. Riley spends most of the time together over a single weekend when she goes to hockey camp in the hopes of making an impression on her high school coach and team so she can become one of them. Riley starts to drastically alter every aspect of herself with the aid of anxiety. She lies about what she likes and dislikes, abandons her old friends, and turns into an all-around bad sportsman. It was a little hard to watch, but for anyone who's been 13, all of this can be very relatable. Children and adults alike learn from Inside Out 2 how important it is to accept even the messiest versions of oneself. Joy had wanted to ensure that Riley's worst choices and actions didn't affect her beliefs and sense of self by keeping them in the back of her mind. Inside Out 2 most important lesson though is that emotional balance requires acceptance of a person's whole self, flaws, and all. Inside Out 2 is currently the highest grossing animated film in history at the global box office. Since making its theatrical debut on June 14th, the highly anticipated Pixar sequel has shattered several box office records and achieved many milestones. Among these are the titles of the highest grossing films of 2024, the first over 1 billion in revenue, the greatest worldwide animation opening ever at $292 million, and the second biggest domestic opening ever at $154 million. Having reached the 1 billion milestone in just 19 days, it's also the fastest animated film in history to do so. However, Pixar and Walt Disney Company unveiled a few books about Inside Out 2 prior to the film's release in theaters. The first is The Art of Inside Out 2, which features an introduction by director Kelsey Mann and offers a closer look at the concept art and behind-the-scenes work that went into making the movie what it is. The second, a children's book about the film, Little Golden Book, has new emotions like anxiety, embarrassment, envy, and ennui, in addition to returning ones like joy and sadness. All of this is pretty typical for Disney, but their release dates were unexpected. May 7th saw the publication of The Art of Inside Out 2, and May 28th saw the release of Inside Out 2, Little Golden Book. Both times were prior to the movie's June 14th theatrical release. This implies that viewers were aware of important plot details even before they saw the movie. Chronicle Books has expanded its Art of Series with The Art of Inside Out 2, a new book that features in-depth narratives, interviews, and artwork from Pixar and Disney motion pictures. This book gives an inside look at the film's production process and discusses the development of the new movie. Inside Out 2's creative process is documented through developmental art, character designs, color scripts, and storyboards that are available for viewing. The headquarters square footage probably seemed a bit small, even though we are never afraid of a large cast of characters. Mann revealed that following the idea review process, one of the first things to do was to simplify. This meant bidding adios to the feelings of guilt, jealousy, and schadenfreude, among others. Inside Out 2's creative team, in typical Pixar fashion, removed certain scenes and gags to concentrate on the moving elements that keep the plot moving in the right direction. Mann revealed that Riley had developed an entirely novel land in her head and that they had named it Procrastination Land and had given it the motto, Always Under Construction. Mann teased that he was hoping the Procrastination Land would somehow make it, noting that there were so many jokes even though the team had to cut the scene in the end because it stopped the story's progression. You can sense the love and passion that the Inside Out 2 filmmakers put into every scene. We can reveal that after 
after seeing a small amount of Inside Out 2 footage, the movie is not just full of his jokes and humor, you can actually feel the love and passion that went into making it. Similar to The Art of Inside Out 2, Go to Sleep Anxiety was released on May 7th. Riley had a long, tired, exciting day, and the book begins when she goes to sleep. But her emotions also need to be rested, just like she does. Joy, sadness, anger, and fear complete their bedtime routines, while disgust takes care of business at the console at night. Riley's new feelings of envy, ennui, and embarrassment are making her feel drowsy already. Everyone goes into a deep sleep until headquarters is peaceful. Anxiety, though, is one emotion that is still very much awake. She worries, paces, and can't seem to stop thinking about anxiety. Everyone in headquarters is soon awakened by her restlessness. No spoilers, but the rest of the emotions will try to help their anxious friend get a good night's sleep. Though the books were like enchanted doors that open to different aspects of Riley's emotional journey, the movie was an overall visual treat for all of us. Fans of Pixar and Disney of all ages will enjoy the books, especially those who wish to understand their own emotions better. For younger readers, simple yet endearing stories and vibrant picture books conveyed Riley's feeling to their fullest. Through endearing illustrations and calming stories, each book focuses on a single emotion, such as the boundless optimism of joy or the subdued wisdom of sadness, teaching young readers about their own feelings. The Inside Out novel provided comfort to Riley's fans as they grew older. In the extended series, Riley's adventures are explored in greater detail, with fresh difficulties and the complex relationships between her feelings being addressed. Though Joy, Sadness, and others experience navigating new schools, friendship, and family changes, readers follow Riley's journey, along with comforting lessons about self-awareness and resilience. The novels gave readers a deeper understanding of the characters. The Inside Out activity books were a vast amount of fun for people who enjoyed playing and interacting. These books encourage kids to interact hands-on with Riley's world through their abundance of games, puzzles, and creative activities. They could create their own personality islands, solve mazes to assist Joy in returning to headquarters, or color scenes from Riley's life. Apart from providing entertainment, these activities also prompted children to consider their feelings and the appropriate ways to convey them. The Inside Out teaching guides were beneficial to parents and educators as well. Through the use of lovable characters, these books taught kids about empathy, coping mechanisms, and communication techniques while also offering insights into emotional intelligence. These guides assisted adults in helping children understand and effectively manage their emotions through engaging activities and helpful advice. The popularity of Inside Out 2 extends beyond its status as a follow-up to a well-known film. It also stems from its fresh and topical narrative about anxiety and other emotions, which appeals to kids and adults alike. The film's box office performance demonstrates how well this originality has struck a chord. Riley's emotional journey persisted in inspiring and educating readers through the pages of the Inside Out books. Readers learn the value of comprehending and accepting their own emotions, whether via a bedtime story, an engrossing book, or an entertaining activity book. Like the movie, the books became treasured parts of many people's lives, spreading the idea that every emotion has a place and every feeling has a story to tell. So, while we wait for more installments, do read the books as they may contain secret details about the future. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button and I'll see you in the next video.